Regional Chief Superintendent currently for the North Coast Region and uh, the Queensland Police Service is supporting AMSAR in an ongoing search relating to a missing aircraft which has six persons on board. The aircraft left Monto Airport yesterday afternoon and was travelling to Caboolture and to date uh, no sign has been located of that aircraft. Uh, this is a very difficult time for the family and, and uh, we are supporting the family through a liaison process and, the, and all of the families of those on board and will continue to do that. The operation itself is under the leadership of Superintendent Terry Borland. Uh, he's coordinating the major incident room which is running out of the Maroochydore Police Communications Centre. So I'll hand over to Terry now to explain them some of the finer details and we'll be able to answer some questions uh, after that. Thanks, Terry. Terry, I'm getting in trouble for that. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, the uh, search is being conducted by uh, a number of air assets um, by Australian Marine Safety uh, Authority. Um, we've got seven helicopters and one uh, fixed-wing aircraft currently searching a, a location west of Imbal. And, um, once we find some sort of a point to put a land search in, we have a contingency in readiness to uh, to move in and conduct a search from that regard. So there is a, there will be a, a ground search? Once we have a location that we can um, deploy our land search uh, capabilities to, uh, and when we identify that point of location, then we'll deploy them into that area. How many people are on standby? Thank you. How many people are on standby? For Look, the at this search? stage, uh, it, it, from our point of view, uh, the country is a um, difficult country. So uh, we'll be looking at the uh, capabilities of the people that we're going to put in there. We need to uh, first establish a point, um, and there's no point in us rushing off until such time as we can uh, get ourselves some sort of location to deploy our ground staff. So how, would you describe the search area? how would you describe the size of the search area? At this stage, the um, search area that's being conducted is a 700 square mile area of, um, of search, and uh, we've got a number of, uh, as I said, helicopters in there currently looking. Do you think that it, it ran out of fuel or ran into trouble? What, what's the theory? Look, um, that's purely speculation. We, we don't know what's happened at this stage. Um, currently, uh, we, our priority is to locate the, um, the aircraft and then we'll see to, where to from there. But the pilot was with an emergency beacon. Under what circumstances would um, the signal go weak and not be able to find it anymore? Again, um, the, from our, our information is that the, uh, the beacon was active. Um, it doesn't seem to be active now. Why it's not active, we don't know. What the time was it activated yesterday? Uh, the last time that we had any indication of that was at around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Um, and then this, uh, the search was conducted in terms of where the last known activation was. Can you confirm that this plane was one that was involved in an earlier crash back in the 50s and that killed the pilot's father and brother and he's restored it? Is it the same plane? Uh, look, that's uh, information I'm not aware of. The pilot was fairly experienced, wasn't he? Uh, our information is that he's an experienced pilot, yes. So with the, uh, with the land search that's on standby, can you give us an approximate number of people that you'll be sending out of what sort of resources, horses or bikes? So, again, that's, uh, we've got a lot of capabilities in terms of land search. We'll consider our options in relation to those capabilities when we've got better information as to what area we need to search. The terrain out there is quite rugged uh, and it's, it's fairly intensely uh, heavily timbered. And, um, and difficult to get at. So once we know a location, we can then get a better appraisal as to what we need to deploy. How How the police the SES police involved? that they will find them, that they will find these people alive. Thank you. How optimistic are police that these people will be found safe and well? Look, we're always hopeful that we will find the best result, and that's uh, that's what we're aiming at. The conditions, I guess, are a little bit better for the search today. Yeah, yesterday was uh, heavily overcast and difficult for the search capabilities. Today, there's. Uh, the uh, cloud cover's lifted a bit and certainly the uh, aircraft have had a better opportunity to get out there and search. The land search, will that involve like, police only or SES or a whole range of people? No, look, look, as I said, uh, we need to assess that once we get a location and, the, and, the, uh, and what sort of capabilities we need to deploy in there. So we'll, when we know, we'll be able to make a better appraisal as to what we need to deploy. How what many were they officers flying in your major incident room here? Thank you. How many uh, officers have you got in your major incident room? At this time, we've got about 10 officers uh, in various uh, uh, positions within our um, major incident room, uh, collating information, gathering information and, and providing taskings. Are you happy with the number of aircraft, seven helicopters and one plane? That's enough to cover such a big area? Look, um, uh, Australian Marine Safety uh, Authority, they're the ones that are deploying the uh, aircraft. Um, that's their capabilities, not ours. 
and certainly for mine there's a, there's a very good capability out there at the moment. What were they trying for? Point, there, are, uh, there are contingencies and arrangements that work together in these types of situations. And the Australian Marines Search and Rescue Authority are the coordinating and initial response agency for any missing aircraft in this type of situation. So they have the lead on that and that's their responsibility and we're working uh, with them. As Superintendent Borland has said, uh, the responsibility will shift to the Queensland Police Service when the aircraft is located, wherever that may be, and we'll develop our capacities based on what we see then uh, rather than what we are speculating on now. Would you call for volunteers? Like people no. who how confident are you guys that you're searching the right area? Well, you can only base your search based on the known information at the time. Uh, that advice uh, is fairly rigid and uh, well credentialed. Uh, so we believe that us, uh, the Australian Marine Search and Rescue Authority, uh, have a clear picture of where to search. And uh, that, that's their responsibility. That's what they do. They do it very effectively and efficiently. And I'm sure they're doing a great job. Does why would they search go for? Oh, well, uh, as long as it needs to go. Do you just, know what they were doing? Were they on a charity flight or just, just a joyride? Or? Uh, well, the information at this time is that the aircraft was returning from Monto to Caboolture and that six people were on board. Were, was it a charity flight? I mean, he took a lot of people up for charity. Well, at this stage, we know that there were six people on board and that the aircraft was returning to Caboolture. To confirm that flight was due to land at quarter past two? Uh, the aircraft was returning to Caboolture on a, on a flight from Monto. That's correct. Where are the passengers from? Are they from the Caboolture area? Uh, they're uh, people from South East Queensland. Yeah. From, from Brisbane? South East Queensland. And um, Mr Porter's pa partner was also on board? Uh, there are six people we believe are on board. Uh, you know, that process will need to be established in, uh, in finality. Uh, but uh, at this stage we believe six people were on board. Are there medical crews on standby as well? Oh, well, there's a whole capacity. It just needs to be uh, dependent on the location of the aircraft when it's found and then the capacity to resource that uh, when we get to that. How quickly will police respond once the aircraft's been uh, We're ready to go now. Uh, we're developing our contingencies for a whole range of situations and uh, we're ready to go. So is this sort of thing in plan... In been in plan in place in, in case something like this happens? Well, tragically, guys... this is not the first time in Queensland there's been an event of this nature. Um, the Queensland Police Service has always worked with uh, other agencies and coordinating bodies in these types of situations. Uh, the process has uh, worked very well and we'll, we'll do so on this occasion uh, and we're ready and supporting other agencies and working together. So thank you very much. Great.